In this scenario, you will be guided on standard procedures for airborne precaution PPE. Airborne precaution PPE must be donned when you will be involved in aerosol generating medical procedures such as intubation. First, we need to set up the scene. Click OK to proceed. Always begin by removing all of your personal belongings and making sure that your hair is tied back. Touch or click the tray to place your personal belongings. Perform hand hygiene using an alcohol-based sanitizer. Clean all surfaces of hands and wrists for at least 20 seconds. Allow your hands to dry before moving to the next step. Start by donning a gown. Click through these images to familiarize yourself with the various gowns available. For airborne precautions, the best choice is a surgical sterile gown. The second best choice is a yellow Versa gown. Your third choice would be a Cardinal Universal Isolation gown. If you don't have any of these choices available, you can don a reusable gown as a last resort. In this case, the surgical sterile gown is the best option available. Don it now. Fasten the ties securely at the neck and waist to limit exposure. Next, don a respirator. You can choose either an N95 mask or a reusable respirator. Choose either one and don it now. If you have an existing N95 respirator certification, it is imperative that you only use the model on which you have been successfully tested. Complete a fit and seal test each time you don the respirator. Donning N95 disposable respirator. Cup respirator in one hand with nose piece at fingertips. Allow headbands to hang free below hand. Hold the respirator under your chin with the nose piece up. Locate the upper strap across the crown of your head and the lower strap below the ears. Straps must not be twisted or crossed. Using both hands, roll nose clip to the shape of your nose. Ensure a close fit and good seal. Cup your hands over the mask to check for air leakage. Take deep breaths if you feel air on your hands. Adjust the mask. The next step is to don the face shield. Choose the best available option for gloves. Gloves should cover the wrists of the gown. Your first choice should be long cuff non-sterile gloves. Your second choice would be regular cuff non-sterile. In this scenario, you will be guided on the proper procedures for doffing airborne precaution PPE. You have just completed an extubation and you are donned in full airborne precaution PPE. Click OK to begin doffing. Begin by removing the gloves. This video will show you the proper technique. Doffing gloves. Grasp the outside edge near your wrist. Peel it away, rolling the glove inside out. Reach under the glove on your other hand, peel it away, turning it inside out, and discard. Perform hand hygiene using an alcohol-based sanitizer. Clean all surfaces of hands and wrists for at least 20 seconds. Allow your hands to dry before moving to the next step. Next, remove your gown. 
This video will review the proper procedure. Doffing your gown. Pull the gown from the shoulders and waist. Pulling it away from your body, slowly and carefully. Turning the gown inside out. And rolling it into a ball. Discard. Perform hand hygiene using an alcohol-based sanitizer. Clean all surfaces of hands and wrists for at least 20 seconds. Allow your hands to dry before moving to the next step. Move to the anteroom or a hallway to doff the remainder of your PPE at a safe distance from the patient. Perform hand hygiene using sanitizer. Remove your face shield next. Do not touch the front of the face shield. Bend forward, grasp the strap toward the back, pull it over your head, and discard in the trash bin. Perform hand hygiene using sanitizer. Doff the N95 respirator. Do not touch the front of the mask. View this video to see the proper procedure. Doffing N95 disposable respirator. Grasp the bottom strap from behind your head. Pull forward over your head. Lean forward bending at the waist to allow the mask to fall away from your face. Grasp the top strap from behind your head. Pull forward and discard. Perform hand hygiene using sanitizer. <laughs> 